Welcome back, and thanks for staying with us. I'm Glenn Mills in for Emily Clark tonight. And I'm Rick Aaron. It is another triple digit day in Utah's capital city, and some residents are suffering through it without air conditioning or even running water because they're living in cars and campers parked on public streets. Dozens of RVs, vans, and tents line Decade Drive on Salt Lake City's west side, where some people have been living for weeks. How is it living out here? Hot. <laughs> Cliff Anderson told me he was evicted from his Magna apartment. Now he and his three cats live in his van with no air conditioning or plumbing. There's a well over by the mobile homes over there. There's a, a, a spring so that you can get water out of it. I don't know if it's potable water, but water. Yeah. And the only thing it's lacking is shade. You got to keep yourself cool. A few miles east in the Glendale neighborhood, I met Michael and Bear, who have been living in a minivan parked on 1700 South. I'm 64 years old, and it's kind of hard, you know, with no air conditioning, no shade, and then the heat gets up in the triple digits. It gets really bad on us. I got high blood pressure and COPD, too, so it makes it hard on my lungs. It makes it hard for us to get anywhere and we can't get nothing cold to drink because it's either way up down railroad road or way down here on ninth west michael said his plan was to sell the minivan's catalytic converter and use the money for an air-conditioned hotel room but somebody stole it to make matters worse the sweltering temperatures have sent both he and bear to the emergency room he got sick from the heat they said it was a form of heat stroke for animals and i had well because he was pooping blood and throwing up a little bit of blood, I had to take him to the emergency room for dogs. It was just a little minor heat stroke to try and keep him out of the heat and keep him with fluids. Michael says Bear is doing much better now, but with their recent setbacks, he doesn't know where they'll go from here. Salt Lake City is aware of the problem of street camping. Today, a spokesperson from Mayor Aaron Mendenhall's office sent me a statement calling it a unique challenge. That statement reads in part, while the city does issue a notice to these vehicles, ultimately it cannot impound ones that are occupied. Instead, we prioritize these cases with the city's homeless engagement and response team for outreach and attempt to engage the occupants with available resources that aim to help them make the journey into permanent housing.